It's a blessed day today, brothers and sisters. Please come and join me in an encounter with the Word at the Upper Room. Let us be still and feel the presence of God as we say, Father, bless us with the grace and guidance of your Holy Spirit as we offer this our encounter with your word as our prayer of thanksgiving, praise, and worship today. Our encounter with the word will come from the gospel. Can you hear? Chapter 28, verses 16 oh, okay. to 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Early on the first day of the week, after the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb but did not find the body of Jesus. Instead, an angel was there and told them to tell the disciples that Jesus will see them in Galilee. As they were living, Jesus met them, saying, As they were living, Jesus met them, saying, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. And so, in chapter 28, verses 16 to 20, the end of Matthew's gospel, Jesus meets them on a mountain in Galilee. Mountain settings play an important role in Matthew. Matthew has 16 referrals to mountains in his Gospel. In the ancient world, mountains were perceived as places where heaven and earth met. In the Jewish tradition, the idea of the mountain shaped how people thought about Mount Sinai and the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. However, Matthew does not focus only on one mountain but on several. Yet the person featured on these mountains remains to be the same. Therefore, the real significance of mountains in Matthew is not where, but who was there. The disciples knew that it was Jesus risen from the dead. Yet, like Thomas in another gospel, they doubted. Maybe that thinking that he was a ghost, or maybe thinking about the question of was this really Jesus? Or maybe thinking that it was too good to be true. Our human nature sometimes cannot comprehend the divine ways of God, that it sometimes serves to block our total and complete belief. Peter and the disciples received their marching orders from Jesus in establishing his kingdom. This mission is universal for all disciples. From the resurrection of Jesus, the mission of the church remains the same. As Jesus tells his apostles 
in John chapter 20, verse 19. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. The formula that Jesus gives for baptism defines the Trinity and designates baptism as the union of the one baptized with the life of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Therefore, the faith of all Christians also depend on the belief in the union of the three persons in the Blessed Trinity. The promise of Jesus as the Emmanuel, or God with us, reminds us, the faithful, that we do not have to struggle through life alone, relying on our own strength. These are the same as the soothing words that Jesus always says to his disciples so many times in the Bible when they are not at peace. Do not be afraid. Now, brothers and sisters, what does this encounter with the word bring to your minds? Did it trigger realizations or questions, messages from the Lord, or just comments and opinions? How can you express these thoughts in your life? Okay, so that's it. No? Uh, simple lang naman yung question. Um, pan, anong, ano, when you heard the, the reading, the story, and the explanation, the analysis, what did it bring to your mind? Did it bring questions? Did it bring opinions? Did it bring comments? Did it bring objections? Did it bring or messages? Uh, ano lang, paiksi lang. Uh, this is really a form of prayer no when you try to absorb what the meaning of the scripture is we are praying right now no uh, so um, we will just express our thoughts no one by one uh, anong na, and what entered your mind Ganun lang. don't you don't have to share anything in your life just what entered your mind when you heard that particular uh, video so yun lang. Yeah, you may turn on your mics, no? Uh, by the way, uh, nobody is supposed to comment on another's uh, statement, you know? Uh, there's no right and wrong. So just make your statements and we will all learn from each other. Or if there are questions, then pwede siguro. Anybody who wants to answer the question may, may answer. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Ako pa. Ah. Sige. Ako na natutuwa lang ako dito sa ano sa text natin yung Matthew 28 verse 16 onwards. So pinakita rito na kasama ni Jesus yung 11 disciples, di ba? Mm -hmm. Tapos uh, we know the disciples had been with him for at least 3 years. So magkakaibigan talaga sila and very close sila no. Pero sinabi dito sa ano sa verse 17 some of them doubted. So para yeah. alam mo yun, kahit sobrang close na kayo ng relationship kay God, minsan talaga may doubts. And I think that's normal. Even the disciples had their doubts, di ba? Pero in naman sila ni Jesus dun sa very end nung, nung text, sabi niya, I'm with you always even to the end of the age. So parang uh, in a way, pinawi niya yung doubts and in-encourage niya yung mga uh, disciples dun sa commission na ginawa niya to go to the ends of the world, di ba? Parang ganun. Ngayon lang. So parang uh, natutuwa ako kasi relatable siya. Kasi we seem to think of the disciples as parang oh, sobrang close kay Jesus ng mga to. Mga holy sila, saints, ganyan. Pero they're just, you know, people like us having a relationship with Jesus. And you made doubts. Yung may doubts tayo ngayon, that's normal. And Alam yun, si Jesus na rin yung bahala mag-erase ng doubts and mag-encourage. Ayun yung thing ko doon. Kamal. Uh, ako, yung unang that was put to mind sa akin pa. Yung sinabi mo about the mountain. How it connects like 
they they were thinking that it actually connects heaven and earth, right? But it's more of, for me, it's the yung place where you know na you really focus on God. Because sometimes, diba, when so world, you're in the world, there's so many things that are happening. So many distractions, so many responsibilities, so many um, demands coming from different things, right? And sometimes you really need to parang go up a mountain. When I say go up a mountain, it's more of like really getting yourself out of that situation so that you can focus on God and really just be with Him and and feel His presence. Parang you need that quiet space, quiet space where it's just all about God to really connect to Him. So yun yung isa. Yung pangalawang that struck me, came to mind, merong isang verse kasi sa First Peter, teka, yun, sa First Peter 3, The first Peter 3, I'll just read it to you. It's just short. Um, it says here, If someone asks you about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. So this one, I'm connecting it to the Great Commission itself. Yeah, wait later, baby. Ayan. So I'm connecting it to the Great Commission because um, before Jesus left, um, He ascended into heaven. Parang ito yung pabilin niya eh. Pabilin niya sa mga apostles na kung anong tinuro ko sa inyo, ituro nyo sa iba. Make, go and make disciples, ba? Diba? And teach them yung mga tinuro ko. Teach them to obey. Parang ganun. So, yun yung ano na, like every situation that we're in, there is that commission for us as believers on how we're able to actually share Jesus to others, share what Jesus has done for us, and help them. So it's not just about sharing, but also parang encouraging them. So parang the verse here, if somebody asks you about your hope as a believer, you need to always be ready to explain it. So it's not about, it's not about like, you need to parang ano ba yun? force people it's not about forcing people to 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 believe the things that you believe but being ready to actually explain it to them if once they ask you you're able to explain it parang ganun yan yan yun yung two things ikaw ilawa anong oh, napunta yeah. sa mind mo nung narinig mo Na, narinig niyo bang maigi malakas ba malakas ba oh, oh, kasi dito mahina eh mahina sa amin malakas sa inyo uh, Audible, ano naman? Audio? Audible? Uh, ikaw, what came to your mind? It, it doesn't have to be a sharing. Oh, it doesn't have to be... Anything. Pwede ka do. Did a question come to your mind? Or just a statement? Um, ano? Touch ka ba? Ano ako yun yun? Hindi ko alam. Narinig mo ba? Anong nalamdaman mo? Dun sa... Ang anong pumasok sa isip mo? Pumasok sa isip mo. Pwedeng tanong na meron ka hindi maintindihan doon sa narinig mo yun. Or you don't agree. Yung video na nakita mo. Hindi ka nag-agree. Kaya... Hindi, nag-agree naman ako kasi naalala ko lang din yung pag-usapan namin ni Alvin kanina nung nag-mask kami. Kasi kasi yung holy was about the trinity na parang diba dapat parang parang sinasabi that there are three persons but one God parang yun yung homily kanya yung tumas kami wala lang parang naalala ko lang na talagang in everything that we do kahit he's not there physically and you can't see him the only way is parang to have faith kasi hindi mo naman talaga may explain everything that's happening. So, yun. Tapos naalala ko rin yung pinag-usapan natin before yung kay St. Agustin pa yun. Tama ba? Yung sa beach? Yeah, yeah. Yun. So, yun. Yun lang. <laughs> Ikaw, ma. Sino inano ko na ha? Kasi baka ano yun na sa beach? Ah, I'll explain, ma'am, yan. Yeah. After ah, ni mama. Sige. Ito, oh, yeah. hindi na tinanong ko na kasi baka malimutan ko. Tsaka kasi ano tayo? 
So we have ito, to end this at 3.30. <laughs> so kailangan mabilis, okay. All of us went through difficult challenges in our lives. But our Lord Jesus continued to remind us not to be afraid. Doon ako talaga na-touch yung do not be afraid. Kasi ina-assure tayo ni Lord na kahit anong mangyari, huwag tayong basta continue believing in Him and trust Him. Like ito, itong pandemic, just continue to trust Him. As we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, I recall how I became familiar with the Holy Trinity. It was when Papa and I joined CFC, nakatulog talaga yung community sa amin. We all meet each other to fulfill the plan of God to be... Teka, again. We all need each other, tayong lahat magkakasama to fulfill the plan of God to be so to be co-heirs of Jesus Christ. We need to participate in the mission of Jesus. We need to pass on God's great love to others. I thank the Lord for calling upon Dick and I. Everything that happened in the past and in the present indeed strengthened our and deepened our relationship with our Lord. I am happier now because I know Jesus will always keep his promise that he will be with us till the end of time. The Holy Spirit is our daily companion who guides and protects us from all harm and danger. The Lord provided with all our needs. I remember when we were ups and downs kami ng papa mo, dami namin trials left and right. We just rely on Him, just surrender everything to Him. Alam mo what happened? He provided us what we need. Hindi namin hiningi. Basta binigay lang sa amin, makaahin lang sa amin. I don't know how, but talagang the Lord is really good. Basta for, for you to continue just to believe Him, trust Him, and at the same time, meron ka rin gawin something good. Uh, you obey Him, you listen to Him, and you also do something for your for other people. Yan, gumawa kayo ng kabutihan. God is good all the time. I thank the Lord for also taking good care of my adult children, my sons-in-law, and my apos, providing for all their needs. To our God be glory. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Uh, and okay, to end this uh, session natin, my turn, um, I will just summarize no, uh, what everybody has said. No? So it is nice to hear no, that... Um, Um, alam natin that we are just human. Um, even the apostles no, were human and they were not perfect. No? Uh, then although the Lord tells us to be holy because your father is holy, you know that it is an ideal. But what we should always do is try to be holy. You know? So eventually we may step by step move closer to that holiness. Just like the apostles, no? they started as nothing. And when they ended up, they ended up even dying for the faith, you know, being martyrs. Mm-hmm. You no, know? so can we reach that level Holiness. of faith that we are really even willing to die for our faith? Let's not answer that. You no, know? uh, we will eventually find out. Now the next is um, uh, you mountains. No, si Nabi Nikiti. No, uh, indeed, you know, um, it is a place where you meet God. Now, a question, for, I guess, to everybody is. What, where is your mountain? Where is your mountain? No, where do you meet God? Um, and um, uh, sabi ni Katie, you know, it's important to share what you have. No, uh, of course, the most important thing. Yes, it's important that if we are given the gifts by the Spirit, hindi naman para sa atin yun, but for others. Um, but at first. Do you have something to share? We have to determine what is it that we have that we can share. I don't mean material things only, you know, uh, but anything that we have that we can share. What is it that we can share? Um, kay uh, Ilan naman is about the Trinity, you know. Uh, in, Trinity has always been the problem of all Christians. It's so hard to explain. Uh, when I was explaining this to the Uh, disciples sa akin on my regular uh, lecture divina last week you know we are also talking about the trinity and i told them 
maybe it's just like saying this. Have you heard this saying yung kay Paul? Already but not yet. The kingdom of God is already here but not yet at its fullest. Same thing probably is our knowledge, no? our capacity to understand the, the Holy Trinity. It's already here with us. And we can say something about it. But it's not yet fully there. Why? Because it is a mystery. Tinatanong ni Katie kanina, what about the beach? No? Uh, what's the story there? Uh, si St. Augustine, one of the doctors of the ancient church, no? uh, has been asking himself for years, how can he explain the blessed Trinity? So he's been, it's been, it has troubled him for years until one day he was walking by the beach. He saw a child digging a hole in the sand and gets his bucket, goes to the sea, gets water from the sea, pours it into the hole in the sand. And so St. Augustine asked him, what are you doing? And the child responded, oh, I'm going to put all of the water in the sea into my hole. And that answered the big question of St. Augustine of how can he explain the Blessed Trinity? The mystery is too huge for us to put into our human brains. No? Just like the sea is too huge to put into that hole in the sand. No matter what you do, you can never finish, you can never put the whole of the ocean into that hole in the sand. But there will be some water no? uh, that will be placed there. Uh, next is uh, kay Mama. We are co-heirs indeed. Tama yun, no? And sabi niya uh, that uh, God tells us always, I will be with you till the end of times. Actually, sabi ko, it is God's assurance that uh, he will never leave us. And he always tells this to his disciple. If you look at his whole gospel, in all the four gospels, he always tells his disciple, pag natatakot na sila, do not be afraid. I am here. No. So with that, I'd like to end our uh, uh, session. It is now 3.35. We started at 3.10, 30 minutes. And sabi ko, uh, I will spend five minutes more for our closing. No. Uh, so let me play my our closing of this uh, no, in the share screen again. No, wala. Nandito kanina. Dali, hindi, nandito yan. Tandala, ilalagay ko na ulit. No, wala eh. Okay, so let me share screen this. Ah, uh, Naririnig nyo, no? Sabi nyo, no? You can hear it, no? So I hope... Kanina pa, nadinig namin. I, I hope you can hear it, no? Sa akin kasi, hindi ko marinig, eh. Okay. So, let me do this again. I hope you hear this. I will see you again at the upper room in our next encounter with the word. Now, please join me in closing our prayer encounter with the word today. Father, thank you for this loving encounter with your word. As we gather together here at the upper room as your disciples, brothers and sisters, let us make this next song a part of this closing prayer.
Okay, so as committed 30 minutes. Hindi hindi lumampas. We started at 3:10 eh. Okay. Walang voice kayo, Katie and no Ila. Boy, Ila. No voice. Uh, as, I, as I committed to you 30 minutes. Uh, pero ano, uh, I think in that 30 minutes we have uh, learned from each other a lot. Yeah. May na gusto ko i-share na song eh. Ha? Ah. May gusto ko i-share. Okay. Hinahanap, oh. hinahanapin ko lang. Praise song siya na yung ko nito kasi dati pa, Reckless Love. The Reckless Love of God. Ito ba yan? Hanapin ko lang. Na, natakot yung ibang ano sa atin eh. No? Yung natakot. Ibang, uh, kasi sabi ko kay Papa, wag na word. Sabi ko, Lord na lang. Ayaw hindi niya. Naman, was, was it, was it uh, too deep? Hindi, hindi, hindi ba? Simple. Hindi, hindi very light lang. ba yung message ko? Hindi <laughs> naman. Hindi ba Pero buti nga yun para maano sila makuyos. Hindi ba light lang naman ang approach natin? Mm. Malayo pa sila sa conversion kung ayaw sila. Hey, baka pati, naman interested sila. Pati nga yung, wala uh, pumunta eh. Pati nga yung analysis ko, hindi malalim eh. Very Re-off light lang. Ang eh. sabi ko, in punto. Malayo pa ang darat ang pupuntahan nila. Ano, check ba sila ba? Pag sabi mo, Bible study, hindi nila. <laughs> Alam mo ba si hey, Tito naman Yung kay Tita Tess, yung Bible. Sandali lang yung ano, si Tito Bing, magpapatug, mag, magpapadoktor daw ngayon. 
Did you, Linggo, did, did you guys feel, uh, I just want some feedback. Did you guys feel that yung analysis of the text ko and the context was uh, complicated? Complicated you know, ba? Very, very simple. Ano? How did you feel? Na anong naramdaman nyo dun sa ano? Okay. Was it interested? Mm-mm. Bakit, Papa, yun yung na-choose mo na verse? Uh, how, how did it come to you? Unang-una, uh, magandang start yung ano. Yung itong practice na ito. Itong what we are doing. It's a good way to say that everything will follow after this. Because that's where, that's where Kasi great Kasi great commission. Para, oh. Yeah. Oh, na, then everything can follow after this. Anything can follow. No? Nung pa namin gustong umpisahan, kaya lang we don't know how. Until finally, nasabi namin, no, kailangan start Yung una ko kasi ginawa, was so, pang, pang disciples of the word, ano, marami masyado. <laughs> so, Hindi, kasi, nung pinili ko kay mama, sabi niya, lalim niya. Hindi, sabi ma- ko, ma- ma- papa, ma- avoid yung mga words. Kasi ang mga tao ma-overmug pag masyadong mga daming words. So, and, and what we wanted, video. what we wanted here was for you guys, yung mga magpa-participate, Para to be the ones to talk, not me. Kami, Hala. we're just here to Support lang kami. start the ball rolling. Support group lang. No, just to, and, and, and ano, yung para to, to get that, ano, that, uh, yung Manda. yung bang ano yung masanay tayo na don't say oy mali yung sinabi niya mali yung sinabi wala ganoon para wala just accept lang tayo ng accept dun sa lahat ng sinasabi ng lahat ng tao yun yun lang no pa, kasi may kanya-kanyang di ba uh, we were talking about one verse but all of us had, all of you had different ano uh, things that came to your mind not the same as each other but Ilan tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We had five different ano, uh, thoughts. Uh, and yet, it was all about the same thing. Kaya ginagawa ko, sinasummarize ko sa huli para mapagtali-tali nyo yung ano. So how did you feel about that, Ila? Was that so difficult to do? Anong naramdaman mo na ano now that now na, 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 ito, na, mahirap bang intindihin yung ano mahirap ba yung or... yung ginawa namin ang ah, kasi ganito yung ginawa namin ano first yung instead of reading the verse video para madali intindihan video oo para to ano your in- interest to build no? your interest hindi yung sinibibasahin ko kasi kung lahat basa mali no? and then uh, we explain the context meaning Saan ba nangyari ito? Ano ba yung, ano? Uh, how, how, why it did this started, how it started. And then I, I proceeded to explain and analyze the text to help you understand. Pero in a light way. Kasi kung mabigat yan, marami pa akong kasabihin eh. Meron pa akong mga Greek. Sabi ko ano sa kanya, huwag eh. muna yung mga, ano, mga masyado malalim na, ano. Uh, di ba sit, ano, easy to understand yung video ila o medyo malalim masyado. Ano ila, ikaw? <laughs> In the puzzle. Nag-freeze sila. Puzzle team. Then nag-freeze. Ganda lang po sila. Parang lilipad. Ganito pala ang way. Pero, para... Katie. Uh, John, Katie. What was the, was the <laughs> context and and ano, and ano analysis too deep or too complex? O hindi naman? Okay naman. Ayos lang ba? Ikaw, Ila, did you find it easy to understand the context? interesting, the, Ila? The context? Did you find it easy to understand the context and the analysis? <laughs> Nawala, ano naman si Ila? Man, freeze. Nawawala. <laughs> madali naman, ano, ano? Madali naman itindihin. Kasi yung una kong pre-repair, ano eh, medyo, ano. Hindi, sabi ko kay and, Papa, you have to simplify. I, the, 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 the challenge that I had is that I had to do it in 30 minutes. I have to do it in 10 minutes. You can minutes. hear me. I, ngayon, I can hear you. Ina, kasi yung internet namin ngayon. Uh, Amanda, no! I have to finish my portion in 10 minutes so that we have 20 minutes. Amanda! Kasi ginawa namin, 30 minutes lang para at least yung mga iba na who would like to also watch, hindi mainit. Ang kaso, unfortunately. Pero kulang, <laughs> na, pero kulang pala yung 30 minutes kung merong ibang participant, ano? Kasi yung sharing ng ng thoughts eh aabot ng ano 
Hindi, ililimit mo lang talaga may allowance pa. Kasi pag ma- nag-aattend na sila, mahahaba na yung discussion natin. Eh, sino eh, kung, kung magre-request sila na dagdagan, okay lang yung number of minutes. I feel minutes. sad na hindi sila Pero, na... Pero, uh, ilam, masyado bang tedious yung 30 minutes na yun? O hindi hindi lang mo i-exceptin mo, di ba? Mabilis yun. Hindi, okay I- naman. Naintindihan ko naman pa. Hindi lang ako sanay na yan. Uh, hindi ang ano lang namin. Parang, parang sa akin, ano pa rin yan, Papa? Sharing pa rin. <laughs> Ano na? Hindi. Ano, ano pa rin? Para sa akin. Hindi alam mo, Ila. Hindi sharing yun. Hindi sharing yun kasi opinion mo lang yan. Eh. We want to know also from you ano bang nasa thing? Ano bang what you hindi sharing, feel? Hindi sharing of your life. Sharing Oo, of your sharing thoughts. Sharing of your thoughts. Kasi Iba yung life eh. Yun. Kailangan tayo, sabi ko nga. Si, um, si Ila kasi, Katie, raw, allergic daw siya doon sa sharing of her life. Hindi kasi tayo nga. Ah, eh. Gusto ko lang makinig. Ako. Ah, uh, Hindi kasi ila. Uh, ang, ang, ang reason why we... <laughs> hindi, ang ano ko lang. Ang reason why we share, na, 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 explain ko lang. There's a reason. When you pray, you pray alone. That is for yourself. Oo, for yourself. Yan ang relationship mo with God. Yung two commandments ni Jesus, remember? Ano yung two, two commandments, Katie? Love what God. Are the, what, what, what did you... Yung love, love God, God, love others. Love God and love, love others. Love God with all your diba? mind. Love when you others. pray by yourself, you're just loving God. Uh-oh. When you pray, when you share your thoughts to with others, others you're, that's the start of your loving others. Hindi ako nga, si Papa, di ba lagi siyang nagtuturo ng twice a month yung lecture divina. Kailangan ako nandun kahit na I don't have to. Kasi parang ano ako, support ako eh. Na... Kasi pag minsan yung ibang mga per, mga attendees hindi handa, hindi nakapag-reflect. So kailangan mayroong magba-back up, may back up ako. Ako yung back up ni Papa. So kailangan I am forced to make a reflection. <laughs> Tapos minsan kasi nakik- nararamdaman ko pag ako nagbigay ng reflection, I'm the last. I am the last na magre-reflect. So napapansin ko na ano ko na tawag dito, nakokompleto ko yung what day, day na kulangan sila. Nabawa, nakulangan sila. Naaano ko yun, na, nakokompleto ko yung whatever message na pinapaano sa akin ng Holy Spirit. And, and then, tsaka, nagbibigay lang ako ng example na, na don't think, Ila, that uh, just because wala ka masyado alam, you have nothing to share. No, you have many things let, to let share. Let me give you an example today. What did Katie ask? Ano ba yung bitch, Papa? Hindi ba tinanong mo kanina? Ano yung bitch? Who said, uh, who said something about the bitch? <laughs> Hindi ba ikaw, Ila? Ikaw nag-mention ikaw ng nag-mention bitch. Ikaw nag-mention noon? O, oh, meron ka palang na-share kay Katie na hindi niya alam dati. Galing diba? naman ni Ila. <laughs> May natang ko na nawa sa iyo. Even if you ask a question, <laughs> alam mo, even if you just ask a question, yung ano, yung tinanong ni Katie, ano yung bitch? It's a question. It's not a statement. It's a question. Pero may natutunan tayo ron because then somebody who knew about it had, had to explain what it is. Or kung hindi man niya alam, meron siyang idea na may opinion tungkol doon. Diba? So, even a question is valuable. Hindi ako nga, engineer ko is one last time. Nagpapasamalamat ako doon sa mga ano ko, religion teacher ko. Kasi kung hindi dahil sa kanila, hindi ko masyadong makikilala yung si God, yung mga stories, yung mga Bible stories. Sila nagkikwento noon, di ba? Diyan, nakita mo ba ikaw so, sa video? Hello. Sino doon? Yung buhok mo na hindi. <laughs> nakita mo ba? In apo, sir. Lalo ka sa video. <laughs> Napa. Na, nakita mo? <laughs> Meron ano ako pa ang version nung ano, yung metaphor yun ng beach. Na kapag, uh, ano, tina, pag nag-explain ako sa iba, ako, ako yun from someone else eh, pero I can't remember. Pag pinapa-explain yung mga mysteries of God, Ang ginagawa ko metaphor is imagine mo yung worm, 'di ba? Ang worm hindi siya nakakakita ng colors. 
Mm-hmm. So, kahit anong gawin mo para explain mo sa isang worm ano yung colors, hindi niya maintindihan yun. Parang ganun. Ako, ano eh, natutuwa, natuwa yung mga disciples ko last time na nag, uh, nag-lecture kami. Pinag-usapan namin yung Trinity. Ano mga explanation ko? Adobo. Ah. Sabi ko, yung mga anak ko, uh, sabi, nasali nga kita eh. <laughs> Sabi ko yung mga anak ko, kumisan, tiyatanong nila ako kung magluluto ako ng style ko ng adobo. Ano ba yung style ko ng adobo? Nila? Oh, yung Coke. Yung merong Coca-Cola. Ah, may Coke. Oo. Oh. Um, so sabi ko, yung adobo is really not a dish. Because there's no singular way of preparing it. There's no singular way of uh, of tasting it or of uh, merong may sabaw, may tuyo. Merong mamantika, merong maasim, merong maalat, merong uh, may coke, yung akin may coke. No? But in the end, uh, no matter how the Ilocanos, Pampangueños, Bicolanos, Visayans cook it, they're all adobo. Iba-ibang style lang. So, 